Hey guys, um, so today I am going to be making pigment slime. So I made another video today, um, and it is for how to make fluffy slime. I think that turned out pretty good, so I thought I would make another because they really aren't that hard to make videos. So today, instead of food coloring, I'm going to be using my paint. I'm doing pink again. I like pink a lot. You can use marker, but you will use at the very end. Make sure your slime isn't sticky. Otherwise, you might not be able to use this marker for drawing at all. So you're going to want to use a marker that you don't really care about, just in case if any of the slime gets stuck to it. I'm not going to use marker today, but I'm using these. Um, so what you'll need is, I'm making fluffy slime, but pigment. So it's, I'm going to need my glue, which is glue all. You're going to need, you don't need baking soda, it's kind of an option, but I like the baking soda, so I'm going to be using baking soda as well. You can use, um, for, foam, for fluffy slime, you need foamy, um, uh, shaving cream. You can use shaving cream or foam shaving cream pretty much shaving cream and then this stuff is old so you're going to have to add a lot more but it's contact solution so since i'm making pigment i have to add some makeup so what you do to crush it you just get a little plastic knife and you just tap in that area and then sometime we'll add it in i'll, I'll tell you when to okay so i'm gonna get started so you first you um do your glue, so I'm going to add that first. I don't, I make a lot of slime, so I'm not going, I'm going to make a little bit of, a, this batch is going to be big. I didn't mean to do it big, but it didn't look very big, but it is. So sometimes I will stir it, but last video I didn't. Before I get started, I will stir it sometimes. So. If you want your colors to be more vibrant, I wouldn't. I would suggest adding your coloring after you do your shaving cream. That's what I like to do because I like vibrant colors. But you can add it now if you want to. Um, and if you want to add like fuse beads or glitter or something like that, I would add it now. So then you're going to add your um, you're going to add your um, shaving cream. Or foam, shaping foam. It doesn't really matter which one you add. So I'm going to start. But first you want to shake it so it's not sticky. Okay. So that's pretty good. Okay. So then you do that and then you want to mix it together. And then, if you're doing colors or some sort like this, you'll just add them now. So, I'm going to add some pink. Okay, so now that's finished, you close your paint, or whatever you're using, set it aside, and mix it in. Um, I did not as much as I need it because it's not very bright so just to speed up the video I'm just going to add some of this and then just do that okay so now to stir in your color which I am doing now added a little bit too much color but why not? <laughs> okay, so sometimes if I didn't, my pigment slime doesn't work out how I want it to. So this might be one of those. So now is when you will add your, just add your makeup, any kind. I think blush works the best. So this is my first time trying this kind out. I'm not sh for sure that it's going to work, but let's just hope. 
And if it doesn't work, it's still always fun to play with. <laughs> That's what I say a lot. But since mine's not very pigment color, I'm going to add a lot more. I'm not sure about a lot, but I'm going to add more. So if I can get this open, let's see. This, oh, okay, there we go. So I'm just crushing it again. And then you pour it all in. Just pour all the crushed stuff in. Um, you can always use the makeup after. Um, you just might have a little hole, so you can always use the makeup after. It's just that's not. I don't use makeup often anymore because well, I'm not. I don't need to use it yet. So not anymore, but I don't need to use it yet. <laughs> um. So I think this one worked pretty well. It's not exactly pigment, so. I think I'm going to add a different color to it just to see if that will help at all. So I'm using the brown one now. Then I'm just going to crush it again. You don't have to add it this many times. You could just use your whole palette, but I'm not going to use that. Never know, I might need to make another video off the pigment slime because I'm planning on doing YouTube for a while. Not just a week. <laughs> Um, all my videos won't always be slime, it's just I don't really have my area set up right now. But soon it will be like Minecraft, Roblox, um, fuse beads and stuff like that. Fuse beads, not as often as all the other things. Um, so you see how mine didn't turn out very well with that kind. So I would say don't do that way. I would say add more like... I rather add glitter and stuff. It's not the best that I could do, but I can do better. But pigment slime, you always add. Well, I did one pretty good. But, well, I ha I've only I haven't made pigment slime yet. It didn't work out, but I made it before. It just didn't work out. But I would just suggest using. I always use the makeup. So, because I'm not buying fancy stuff to make pigment slime, so. Now is to where you get to activate it. So first you add your baking soda before you add your um, contact solution. So just add a pinch of baking soda. Don't add any more. Um, if it's a huge batch, like mine's a pretty big batch, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. But if it's not a soup, if it's like a normal size batch, which is like doesn't even cover the full. Um, it's not as much as this one is, but I just mean you'll you'll add a lot. Don't just if you add a lot of glue that covers the whole bottom of your bowl. That's like this. If it's like this size of bowl and it covers the whole bottom, add like a little bit more than just a pinch. Since this stuff is old, I have to add a lot more. So, but if it's new, you won't have to add as much as I just did. But um, do, um, if you don't have any activating stuff at your house, you can always use laundry detergent. That's one of the ones I have not done yet because it's just not my favorite. But that is one that you can do. So um, you can always do like um, borax and water, but that stuff you can get third degree burns. I had to do that before because um, because I did not have the contact solution at that second and because we I didn't know where it was then but then we found it so I'm using this um so pigment slime isn't normally how this one is it's normally a little bit like I'd rather have this fluffier but it's see it's still sticky so I need to fix that. Fix this. Good thing my slime doesn't even stick to the carpet. <laughs> Let me 
move this a little bit. Uh, you weren't sticky just two seconds ago. Okay. Okay. So this one, this slime, I think turned out pretty good. I'm not sure if I overactivated it or what, but. I think it will be pretty good. It's just not super fluffy this time. Um, if it's sticky, just work it with your hands a little bit more. This one's heavier than my other one, so I don't know why. I think it's because it's it doesn't look bigger because that one I added a lot more shaving cream to than this one, and I added more glue. So this one's a little bit heavy. And another tip that you can do is you can add lotion whenever. Lotion will make it stretchier and smell better. Um, so that's pretty much what I use lotion, my lotion for. But I use my lotion for other things too. But I like um, I use lotion for slime. Not often because it's normally pretty good. So, the end result is this. I'm not sure if it's the end of it all, but I'm going to say this is the end in the video, for the video. Um, sorry about that. The camera that, that I'm using just glitched out. So, I just wanted to say, um, please like, subscribe, and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!